This is my Grumman 1971 AA1A trainer, 9462 Lima. Uh, the total airframe time is 3,940 hours. It has uh, 1,032 hours since major old overhaul, and that's a Mattituck overhaul, so a really high quality overhaul. Uh, the engine overhaul was done in 1998. Uh, has a Macaulay cruise prop on it. Uh, approximately um, Oh, about 115 mile per hour cruise at 2,500 RPM, burning about five gallons per hour. Uh, overall, the airframe's in great condition. It, uh, I'd call the paint a solid seven out of 10. Uh, your normal little hanger rash marks on it here and there, but nothing significant. Shiny clean paint. Control surface is in good condition. The glass on this airplane is excellent. The bubble canopy is great. The windshield is nice and clear and clean. Fuselage is in good shape. Something unique about this airplane, uh, when they built these, they made it so the rudder, elevator, and even the wings are all interchangeable. You can use the uh, vertical and swap it with the right horizontal if you want to. They're the exact same. So kind of neat if you need a part, you don't necessarily have to buy a vertical. You could buy a, a left elevator side on the horizontal and replace it. So that's kind of neat. Same with the wings. There's no left and right. They're interchangeable. You just flip it over and put it on the other side. So that's the fuselage. Um, it has a single KX125COM, works real well, has a built-in uh, VOR and uh, localizer. And it even has a built-in CDI in the center. And then we have a uh, Narco AT50A transponder with encoder that works great. And a PS Engineering PM501 intercom right below. Little glove box off to the right. Has a... Uh, um, standard um, lighting, you know, beacon, uh, landing light, which is an LED. Um, standard uh, VFR, IFR package. Has a little uh, Collins audio panel up there with marker beacon. Very clean panel. It works very nice. I installed a um, RAM mini uh, iPad holder also. It just clicks in place there, and that's nice. I use a Garmin GDL39 3D, and that's my GPS and backup uh, um, attitude uh, indicator with um, SVT, so that's pretty cool. And again, kind of look at the rest of the airframe here. Tires are in really good condition. I have pictures that are kind of hard to see here. And this has some mods, uh, I believe they call it the split nose bowl, so you can take the uh, cowling apart uh, without um, uh, without removing it all in one piece, it comes apart in pieces. Um, I believe it also has something to do with the nose gear from Fletch Air. It has a modification that's supposedly better for the nose gear. And there were a few other little things that it had, and to be honest, I can't remember them. Uh, but it does have shoulder harness, which I feel is very important in a single engine airplane. So nice shoulder harnesses. In case you've never gotten into an AA1A I'll, or any Grumman, I'll show you how you get in. It's pretty simple, really. You put your uh, hand up here on the right-hand rail, put your foot up on the black, pull yourself up. Then to get in, you just simply kick the seat up with your feet. Put your feet down on the spar, basically, is what you're standing on. Put your feet down. Then you simply slide backwards and just sit on the seat as it goes down. So you're in the airplane. Again, it's pretty simple. Master switch over here on the left. Master's on. You can flip the avionics on over here. Well, you see the KX125 coming up. As you can see, it has an OBS indicator in the middle with a full CDI. It has a to and from uh, indication there. Comms are on your left, nabs, nabs on your right, flip-flop. Then it also has these nice little grip push to talks on both sides. And your headset just plugs into the phone jack. 
and the mic plugs into the extension hanging down. So each side can talk to each other and each side has push to talk. Pretty nice. And like I said, the glass is nearly perfect in this plane. Very nice. Has a vertical card compass. And everything works in the panel except for this. Uh, I believe it's probably a, um, I think it's a VOR, uh, tells you the radial of the VOR you're on, and it does not work. It just reads whatever it decides to read. Systems are pretty simple on this airplane. It's left and right, on and off for the fuel, holds 22 gallons usable. The flaps are electric, and it has an indicator form. You simply pull the switch down and watch the indicator move. Let go of the switch, they stop. Push them forward, they'll go up and stop automatically when they hit the limit switch. Trim's real easy, back and forth. We'll put it for takeoff, which is right in the middle there. And what really neat about this plane are the fuel gauges. Here's the right fuel gauge, a little over a quarter of a tank. And here's the left fuel gauge. Uh, there's not much light, but a little under half, between a quarter and a half. Very nice bulletproof gauges, no, uh, no sensors to break, no wiring problems, no gauge problems. It uh, reads what they are. And again, you simply just select left or right as you're going, and verify it from uh, the uh, floating ball in the tube. Baggage area is more than you'll ever use. Um, has more than my glass air in it, and you can put up to 100 pounds back here. Uh, one nice thing about the A1A is the cabin size. Um, flip this around. The cabin, I'm 190 pounds, 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 roughly. Two of me fit in here very nicely. And there's plenty of headroom. We'll even shut the uh, canopy here. So the canopy's shut now. Plenty of room inside the airplane. And again, you see the glass is in excellent shape. All the way around. So, very simple airplane. Uh, very easy to fly. It's a great trainer from the standpoint that this is a good airplane to teach someone a high-performance airplane in because it has light controls and a heavily loaded wing. So that pretty much uh, pretty much gives you an overview of this airplane. I'll be selling it. Most likely be on eBay. So highest bidder will most likely get it. Great airplane, Mattituck overhaul, and uh, just in great shape. Oh yeah, fresh annual. Uh, just came out of annual today. I went and flew it for about an hour and uh, flew just great. So, thanks for watching.